Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is a really easy um, rabbit hair football jig and it's going to have a trailer. We're even going to put the trailer on. I'm going to show you what we're going to work on. This little bad boy right here. It's a 1 8 ounce football head with a small uh, chunk trailer on the back of it. This happens to be a 1 8 ounce green pumpkin, uh, olive variant rabbit, uh, a regular rabbit zonker strip, a size 1, uh, 500 black platinum uh, eagle claw sickle hook. And this particular chunk is a Ron Yurko uh, finesse chunk made by Venom Lures. Um, you can use hand poured ones, but try to keep it two inches or less. This is, I believe these are an inch and seven eighth long, but they're really small. And on this little hair jig like this, uh, it's an absolute killer presentation and it's so easy to make these jigs up. So let's get started. I'm going to put my vise back here. As you see in the vise, we got a football jig. This is a 1 8 ounce black, uh, a size 1, 500 BP, black platinum sickle hook from Eagle Claw. Really good. And before we even put our thread on, what I do with this, as you can see, I don't have any grooves cut in this collar because the rabbit hair is going to start getting wrapped all the way down here. Should angle this up a little more. So what I do to help hold that thread on is I take a little bit of our Loctite brush-on super glue. And I just give a little bit. Doesn't take much. And then we take our black. 210 denier flat wax nylon thread from Danville and we make our base our thread base and we want to come down oh maybe an eighth of an inch past the collar and cut our excess off I'm going to put a little bit more on there and come back down now we're going to take our rabbit strip and you can see you have your back end. This is a regular zonker strip. It's not a cross cut. So you have your leather and you can see which direction the hair. The hair is all going down this way and it comes to a point. And then you have the back end of it, which as you can see, this is the hair. It's facing away from this end here. This is the end you want to start with. And once we get that started, we're going to bring our thread up to the top, and then we simply start wrapping. And as you wrap, you want to pull this hair down. Um, Cross-cut rabbit strips are good for this. I like to use regular rabbit strips because uh, it makes the hair come out more. But cross-cut makes excellent bodies when you're wrapping uh, these type of jigs. So you can get cross-cut and make these. Um, they're so simple, but they're so effective. Um, and rabbit hair works so good. I mean, you can use this in colder water. You can use it in warm water. Uh, it works pretty much anytime bass are lethargic. And you want to wrap this all the way up to the head. And simply tie it off and then when you cut this you want to try just to cut the the leather and pull it apart otherwise you get a squared off end now when you're cutting the back it's not so critical but if you are cutting this front part of it 
it's very critical. Uh, so you just want to cut the leather. You don't want to cut it straight across the hair if you can avoid it. Now it's just a matter of pulling your hair back and tying the collar. Sometimes you got to wet your fingers. And that's fine. It dries out fast. Let your fingers pull it back just like marabou. It's pretty fluffy and I like the collar to be anywhere from an eighth to maybe three sixteenths inch long, not much longer than that. And you want it nice and tight. There, it looks pretty good. And we're going to whip finish it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cinch. Trim off our thread. We're going to take our Sally Hansen's. I don't know if I told you this, but Sally Hansen's um, hard as nails. Their clear nail polish is a little thinner in the beginning, which makes it penetrate the threads really well. And it also seems to get harder and stay harder uh, than other nail polishes. Um, if I'm not using Sally Hansen's, uh, the only other product I'm using is a head cement called Hard as Hull. I've had really good success with that, but if I have Sally Hansen's, I'll take this. It's a less expensive uh, alternative, and it works really well. I've never had threads come loose. So, now we got our jig tied. We're going to do the trailer. Take that out to make it easier. And this is the chunk. And the way you're going to put this on is a lot of people like to put the pad towards the back. I like having the back um, the pad up front and the back being being completely straight. You're throwing this on a, a spinning uh, setup. So you can skip this and it makes it real easy to skip when that back is completely flat. So what you do is you pull back, expose your hook, turn it upside down, and I like to thread it on. Just thread it. You're going to come out the middle of the pad and push it up. And there you have it. Blow your hair down. And then you got your rabbit hair and your jig chunk. Finesse chunk. Uh, and I said you can use any whatever brand's your favorite. Finesse chunk or uh, hand poured ones. These happen to be the Venom Lures, uh, Ron Yurko finesse chunks, which I really like. But there you have it. That thing is so effective in cold water and even in warm water when they're lethargic. Very simple to tie and just throw the trailer on there and you're good to go. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys.